Vancouver, I moved out here, everybody goes, you gotta move to Montreal, man. You gotta move because the women are gorgeous. And it's true, yeah, but they don't tell you that all the guys are better looking than you two. <laughs> so they just pair up, I'm still screwed, you know? Also didn't tell me about the cold. It gets a little cold here in the winter. Whew, man. And you guys are way too proud of how cold it gets, I find. If you know I'm from Vancouver and I complain about the cold and it's only minus two or something, someone from Montreal will just jump out of me. What? You think this is cold? You don't know cold. I'm from Montreal. I like to get you guys back, though. I wait for you to smoke a joint out here and go, man, I'm stoned. And then I go, oh, you think this is stoned, right? Huh? I'm from Vancouver. Everybody in the country is proud of something, huh? Right? People from Manitoba. Oh, you think this is boring right now? <laughs> People from Newfoundland. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> it's a good town. It's a laid-back town. You can smoke in hospitals. You can do whatever you want. <laughs> Drink everywhere. Oh, man. It's awesome. I don't know if I have a problem since moving here. Huh? I don't know. It's not really a problem anymore though, right? Alcoholism, it's a disease. Yeah. You notice what they did? They changed everything that used to just be a bad thing to do to a disease so you don't have to take responsibility for it. Overeating, gambling, alcoholism. I don't think something's a real disease unless you can call in sick and get the day off work. <laughs> so you can't do that with alcoholism. Can't call your boss. Yeah, I won't be into work today. I'm hammered. I really shouldn't be driving. <laughs> yeah. Can't do that with overeating. Yeah, I won't be into work today. I'm huge. <laughs> Plus, I accidentally ate my bus pass. So, so. Gambling addiction, you can't call into work. Yeah, I bet you 50 bucks I won't be in today. <laughs> I don't gamble a lot. I'm a Canadian entertainer. <laughs> <laughs> Not a lot of money to play around with, really. Uh, you gotta turn it into a game. Being broke's pretty exciting. You people with jobs don't know what you're missing, man. Oh, every day's an adventure. What's gonna happen today? Oh, am I gonna eat? Oh. <laughs> it's exciting. It's a little too exciting when I'm using my bank card to buy stuff. You know that feeling when you don't know, really? Did the check come out yet? I don't know. She swipes it through and all of a sudden it's like you're defusing a bomb, you know. Oh God, it's taken too long. You're sweating. <laughs> Processing, that doesn't sound good. Oh. <laughs> Approved? Yeah! <laughs> yes! All right. I'm gonna enjoy this Snickers. <laughs> I hate it when you get declined. There's always like nine people in line. You know, usually the, the, the lady's nice, she'll say something, well, she'll say something little, little secretive like, oh, sorry, it didn't go through. It's probably just a problem with your strip. <laughs> it's not all bad though being broke. It's kind of cool sometimes. There was these two guys going around my old neighborhood holding up people with knives and making them take all their money out of the bank machine. I wasn't worried at all, you know? That'd be hilarious. The guy comes up to me, take out the maximum daily amount. Take out uh, three hundred dollars. I'd be like, okay, let's try three <laughs> hundred. It's not going through. It's probably a problem with my strip. <laughs> Two hours later, let's try sixteen cents. <laughs> and you gotta have money, man. If you want a girlfriend, you gotta have money. Women like money, huh? <laughs> right. Uh, they always say they don't. They go, I don't care about money. <laughs> but even if you want to get married, you've got to buy the girl a nice ring, right? No girl's going to marry you with a crappy ring. No girl's going to go, oh, it's so beautiful. I love it. Look at this. <laughs> but I love being Canadian, man. I love this country so much. It's an awesome country. But there are some drawbacks to being Canadian. Uh, it's really hard to play along at home when you're watching Prices Right. <laughs> you know, the exchange rate, you know? You feel like a moron, you know? Oh, the first prize up for bid in our showcase is his and her mountain bikes. 
First contestant's American, 800. Second one, 700. But being a Canadian, you're at home like, nine grand, nine grand. <laughs> right? They turn out to be 600 bucks. You're like, what are they, wood? I, hey. <laughs> I love TV, man. TV was really important to me growing up. I learned everything from TV. I learned everything I needed to know. Actually, I learned to read by watching Sea Same Street. <laughs> Thank you so much, Montreal. You guys rock out. Have a good night.